Look at that set. Look at that beautiful, beautiful blue. Mmm. Mmm. God damn, that's gorgeous. This is a different kind of blue that we're here for today. It's kind of a greenish blue, I guess. This is a QDC Fusion. It's a hybrid, a single dynamic, four balanced armatures. That's its case. The Valkyrie is going to be coming up. It's on deck, kind of. I think it's on deck. The music is the same as the Symphonia because I so jammed out on that. Um, I thought, eh, go with that. It's fresh in my head, and I really enjoyed it. Hendrix all along the Watchtower. Heart, Magic Man. I didn't listen crazy on you. Zeppelin, Whole Lot of Love. Kendrick, Money, Kendrick Lamar, Money Trees, Soundgarden, Black Hole Sun. Keep it simple, and also I just was listening to that. And I also referenced the, the Symphonia again today because there was a jarring surprise. Something that's good about this video is it wasn't influenced by a graph which can happen because I'm a human being because I forgot to graph it or I don't remember it because I looked for it and thought I graphed this didn't I and I, I think I didn't but I listened to it and I wrote down basis blowing out track now this is Hendrix all along the watchtower and uh, uh, the the drummer the basis they're very powerful and potent but if you have this set and you don't need to be a Hendrix fan. If you are, you'll notice it right away. But if you have this set and you don't like when people say, oh, I don't like this about some set, and then you, you want to punch the screen or throw your phone on the ground because they, they, they don't even talk about fucking music. You don't know what they're talking about. I'm going to tell you why I don't like this set. I like the company. Quality control is excellent. I bought this myself. I'm not pissed. This wasn't a $3,000. Like, this is about 800 bucks. It happens. I'm making a list. I'm not... No big deal. Um... If you listen to Hendrix all along the watch out, look at that big cursor. Um, the basis is over the top, way over. It's overlapping Hendrix and the clarity of Hendrix's guitar and he, the vocals are kind of torqued. It's it's a it's a really not good playback. And so I stopped everything I was doing. I thought, what the fuck? And, I, and then I graphed it. So the Hendrix comment was pure in the sense that I hadn't graphed it yet and thought I'll do that and I'll attach it to the end of the video um, or I'll, I'll make it because I did this thing with the colors now. But I got to the first track and I thought, what what's up? So then I checked it. Everything else, my opinion on, um, is influenced by the graph, but not the first one. So if maybe that means nothing to you, but to, as a reviewer to me, it does. Because that's a that's a kind of a big point sometimes. And this is the graph. Look at that. Some people said I can't see what you're pointing at. Now you can see me. This is the frequency response graph, and the green area is the mids. This is always going to be the way that I do it from now on. I'm not going to break it into mid bass. I'm not going to break it into um, um, anything else other than this. I wasn't going to do sub bass, but in car audio. I pretty much paid attention to four, not three. Bass, mids, treble, I paid attention to sub bass as well. Um, because they're called sub woofers. They're really supposed to take care of really the sub bass and beyond, not that much. Um, so in car audio, your mids are maybe taking care of your bass and some of your mids technically in your. So anyway getting away from that so I decided to go sub bass bass mids treble and that's good enough for me the peak of the bass as measured on this is pretty much after the sub bass and it continues to about 175 Hertz and then it's falling down and there usually this usually this is at about 1k and then it does it's like peanut game kind of rise there really is not much mids. This would be a V. The bass is also what is called bloated. It's much bigger than it's supposed to be. The bass coming into the mids is going to happen almost all the time, but this is really technically hitting the mids quite elevated. And you can hear this on Hendrix. Enough so that I thought, well, let me check the graph, and I couldn't find it. And then once I looked at it, I realized, oh, I didn't graph this yet or I totally forgot about it. This treble, looking at this, I treble is, this is the unique character of sets. As long as there's not nothing there or giant spikes, these different positions are what give different sets their character. So I'm, I, 
from this point forward, I, I don't see anything. Matter of fact, I could find some appeal in that. So that there is no problem here. The mids, there is a problem because um, there really isn't much. The base is coming into them, and instead of taking off at 1K, which is really, 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 really typical, it's doing it um, at, God, what is this, 800? And it's starting its elevation. That's a, kind of noticeable to the ear. So using Hendrix all along the watchtower and just listen to the first 45 seconds of it, y then you get my point. That's what bloated bass is. And then then I knew. And so everything after it could be kind of, you know what I mean, uh, bias, because I expect it to happen. But heart sounded all right. The vocals didn't sound quite as good. There's not a lot of bass in that track. Zeppelin hold a lot of love. Um, when the bassist does his line, John Paul Jones, the, it's all gone. It's it's done as a like really functional. Listen to the music, enjoy it. I like bass and I like it elevated, and I love the Empire Years Legend X. But the this is this doesn't this doesn't work for me. Kendrick Lamar, Money Trees was just really bad and Soundgarden Black Hole Sun was not the, probably the best replay of everything though it wasn't anything like the Symphonia or other stuff that I enjoy it was probably the most maybe it's the way they mixed it there's a lot of stuff over here and Black Hole Sun didn't kick drum dun, 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 it didn't I'm not that long into this video am I and I didn't really need to go beyond this track, but let me, let's just, and there's boobs. Let's look at boobs a little bit because boobs are nice. Let's look at the library because we're not going to, um, let's just pretend like this was going well and I'm going through the music. This doesn't sound good. Whole lot of love. Why doesn't it sound good? Because of that. I like my bass, but. God, that was not done well. And there's an ironic thing. Look at that. that, that this cursor trips me out. Um, so I'm looking. I'm doing a price check. I guess it's about 800 bucks. I don't know. And there's a little blurb right here. Reddit. QDC mids is actually where it is right here. QDC monitors produce some of the best mids in the industry, and the fusions are really no different. The mid-range of the fusion is easily the best part of, and I didn't read the rest because I'm not interested that's not the best part or it could be because the bass is really not ideal and the treble is I would say the treble would be the best part of this set because it's unique and it's not that highest point that's not in a touchy zone that drop is yeah I don't know anyway the uniqueness of all of the earphones that we listen to is usually done in the treble and so variety is you know what I mean the spice of life I'm totally cool with that but that that bass is too much and there really are no mids and that is a V it could be a bigger V but that's a V right there there's there's really not much mids going on upper mids are doing their thing but they're actually starting a little bit early it's almost always right about here if there's gonna be a and I don't even mind that this is what I don't like this is this is bass bleed that's actually what this calls, which is bass bleed, bleeding. It is bleeding into the mids. Mm, coming in at a glide, coming in at, you can check any set, including like Critical, which is, he's a master. He knows how to do graphs and he tuned his set fantastically. You can't, unless you're gonna do a flat board, you wanna have some character with the bass. He's got his sub bass up and then he drops and he's gliding in through the bass and then he's got mids, proper mids. And then it does its elevation up into the, the the upper mids start to create the treble signature for his set. This is this is a that's a sample of a good set. This is a sample of not a good set. This is th here's what I'm thinking. Because this is a hybrid, I think this is just this is all the dynamic driver. And then the four BAs are picking up because that doesn't seem to be if I was so you think that a set that is a one dynamic drive and four BAs, maybe the 
The bass is the dynamic driver, the mids are two BAs, and then the treble is two BAs. Just, just fucking spitballing here. And then looking at the graph, I'm not seeing how they implemented those two BAs that were tasked with the mid frequencies. You know what I'm saying? Like this is supposed to be uh, maybe an elevation because you can see the dynamic driver kind of doing its job or it's coming in straight and then it glides down and then you see what is happening here. This doesn't look like there is mid BAs. This looks like there's a dynamic driver and then there's two treble BAs kind of. Mm, or just not really greatly tuned. If this is a set that is different from others I'll know later because I haven't seen any other graphs because I didn't have my own. So I really don't have any. Sometimes I do before I do videos and that's a good or a bad thing. You know what I mean? Depending on how you look at it. Some people say fuck graphs, it's all about the music. It is all about the music, but if the music sounds weird, then you go to the graph and you look and see what's the problem. I listened to Jimi Hendrix all along the Watchtower. The bassist was clearly dominating. G go listen to it. Go listen to um, Hendrix's Greatest Hits, I guess, and listen to all along the Watchtower if you've got the QDC Fusion and tell me if that bass doesn't sound like he's just taking over the show. That's not the way that's supposed to play back. That's just the way it is. So not well tuned the bass has taken over everything it is a great example for you to understand what bass bleed is because this is this is all bass actually but this is sub bass and here's mids and it's bleeding into the mids like right into it it's not gliding in it does no nice trajectory it didn't peak at 60 or 70 and then it's starting to take its proper place in the mid frequency before it makes its pina or its elevation into the treble and then this is I don't know that I'm all going to get too much into picking on treble from sets because it's really personal taste and you don't even know until you hear something. So you might look at it and say, oh, I don't, man, listen to it first. Nothing stood out of me over here. I guess I could appreciate it's different thing, but this was getting in the way all the time. This was messing with everything. So I don't recommend the QDC Fusion. Uh, someone said get the uh, Uranus. It's like a joke when people say that because, because your anus get it. I guess I'm. I've never gotten over the age of nine. That is so fucking beautiful, isn't it? I can't see what I'm looking at because I got a GoPro on my head. But I'm, God damn, that's gorgeous, isn't that? Holy fuck. Mm. No, can't wreck. And this is in a really tough price zone if it's 800 bucks because you're really close to getting some save for two more months and get the Sony IRZ1Rs. You know what I mean? Like you, you're getting close to the big, big baller, shot caller. Seriously. The, the Sonys are mm, about double the price, but if you're halfway there, that means, you know what I mean? You, halfways that's a long way so I'd recommend you skip this set that's the nothing sounded good the sound garden didn't sound bad I, I the kick drum sounded fine it's the bassist I guess because the bass has got four strings and the fundamental of all strings and then the harmonic extension that that instrument takes up a lot of space and it was, took up way too much on all along the watchtower so this video was eight minutes longer than it needed to be and I'm not looking at what the timestamp is but this is clearly at least 10 minutes longer than it needed to be so look at that cursor boom and look at the colors that's the sub bass that's the bass that's the mids and that's the treble I'm not gonna do air or upper treble or upper mids or any of that I'm not gonna do mid bass this is simple you can get it and when people talk about certain things you can go ahead and look at it Base bleed, th that's it right there. So the QDC fusion gave itself up for science, mm, kind of science, quasi ghetto internet. Look at my graph science. That is base bleed. It's bleeding out completely. And I'm out.